Ah, uh, what a day of chasing squirrels all day. Hello? Oh, hey, I'm trying to reach Bull. This is Bull speaking. Hey, Bull! My name is Jonathan Matthews, and I'm here with Bobby Sear, my friend Field, David, John, and Steve, and we're all calling from the city of Metropolis Dentist. How are you doing? I'm doing very fine, thanks. Oh, that's cool. So we have your pet owner named Penny, and she's had scheduled an appointment for her teeth. Now is Penny your pet owner? Yes, she is. Oh, so, she had a dentist appointment last week and we were noticing that she hasn't been wearing her mask at all and you know, that every patient must wear their mask to enter the building, so she hasn't been wearing her mask at all. That's very odd. Cause I've actually seen her mask cabinet where she keeps boxes of them, so, I'm not sure if she forgot it or something. Well, when the COVID-19 hits, she should know that if she is going to enter the building, she must have a mask on. And when she hasn't been wearing a mask, but everyone else did. So we're calling to ask why did she come without a mask? I don't know. It's not like I control her life. I don't know why she didn't come with a mask. But what does that have to do with me though? I don't know. That's why we're calling if you knew why Penny didn't come in with a mask on. Well, I don't know either. Well, if she didn't come with a mask on, then we will have to charge you and Penny of $9,000. And you must pay that much money within the next week. Because if you don't, then, we will have to evict you from your house and charge you with an extra $1,000. So that's gonna come down to $10,000 unfortunately. Are... Are you kidding me right now? Do you not know who I am? You're talking to a damn Hollywood star. You think I got time for a freaking charge just cause she doesn't understand dog language and that she forgets to put her mask on? I've worked my ass off in the studio for almost 14 years straight. Listen pal, I don't care what you've been doing. You either pay us $9,000 or we will have to send in the police to your house and confiscate you and Penny. Well $9,000 is a big of a fuck deal. If you're a fucking famous TV and movie star for fucking 14 years straight. I've been busting my furry ass for fortunes, working and busting my doggy ass, and so has my owner Penny. And it's been burned to the fucking ground in that exact same year. We now live in a farmhouse, and you're going to fucking charge us for a mask that she forgot. Who the hell do you think you're talking to like that? What you are not gonna do is start cussing at us like that. This is a happy place, not a place for cussing. Well, so worry. If your employees are fussing over me for something I can't control over, I'm a dog. A dog, for Pete's sake. I ain't some freaking human like you all are. I'm a canine, for crying out loud, and you can complain of something that I can't control. Okay, look. Are you gonna pay us or not? Cause we can just send the cops right now, if you keep talking to us like that. You do realize I'm a dog, right? I have no pockets, neither do I control the money. It's all in the safe, where we keep locked up in the basement, unless if you want me to be a pet dog and steal some of it to you. Oh fine, since you are visiting to pay $9,000, I'm gonna put my manager on the phone and see if he's gonna have you pay the money. Okay. God, what lousy people they are. I work my butt off at the most oldest movie company known to man. Hello. This is the manager of the city of Metropolis Dentist. What is the problem? Well, hello. This is Bolt, the dog of Penny. One of the people who went here and the employees at work told me that she wasn't wearing a mask, which I can't control over, so they said if she didn't come with a mask next time, they're gonna charge me $9,000, and then I said I am Bolt, the famous Hollywood star of the modern era, and I shouldn't have to deal with this. So I decided to try, but the safe of cash is in the basement. So they transferred me over to you. Okay, so, the employees at the desk had asked you to pay $9,000, because your owner Penny didn't come to the dentist without a mask, correct? That is correct. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but you do have to pay $9,000 for showing up without a mask. It's our dentist policy that whoever shows up without a mask will have to be fined. Okay. And the money is in the safe in the basement, which has a lock code, which I don't even know about. Okay, so, 
it seems that you do have $9,000. Then why don't you come here and pay it then with your slowpoke ass? I just fucking said that I don't have the fucking safe lock number. Are you deaf or something? No. Are you deaf? I have long pointed a gears genius. Figure that out yourself. Listen. I don't care what you have. You either pay us with the money, or you will suffer the consequences. Your choice. Jesus fucking Christ. Fine, I'll try and look for the code of the safe, then pay it over, though I do. Wait a minute. I have paws. No thumbs. Damn it. So how the hell am I supposed to unlock the safe? Shit. Okay look, actually, you don't have to pay the money. Because this isn't actually the city of Metropolis Dentistry. This is actually the Z Morning Zoo at Z104. And right now you're being phone scammed. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Oh my gosh. I was almost at a super rage. No pun intended. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Your pet owner Penny has asked us to prank phone call you. Oh my gosh. I was almost about to shut my TV show. Don't cause of this. Cheese Louise Macaroni and Cheese. Well, you sure did almost lost your temper. And by the way, Penny's actually with us on the radio right now, and she wants to apologize for this. Tell her it's fine. Oh, goodness, man. I was gonna go use. Well, she still wants to talk to you. Okay, man. Hey, my little cutie pie. Hey, Penny. Sheesh. You all got me good. Yeah, I did that for fun. Because I like seeing you get mad, it makes me laugh. I know. Say that a lot about me. Alright, Bolt, listen. Before you go, can you tell me, what is the baddest radio show in the land? As in the cat. Or as in the cat. As in the dubious. If that's the case. Then the new morning zoo is the baddest radio show on the block. Alright, Bolt. We're gonna let you go right now. Again, we are so sorry about this mess. Ah, it's fine. Now you guys have got me from the bed to the bed. Alright, you have a great rest of your day. And if there's anything you want to address to us, let us know at z104.com. Okay, later. Bye, cutie pie. Later, after Penny got home. Well, that was a first for me, getting prank called on the radio talk show. Yeah, I agree. And I made you cuss on the radio. Yeah. You wanna go out to eat or something? Sure.